Hey there guys, and welcome back to Dead Rising 2 Off The Record. In this episode, we are going to do the mission Wax On, Wax Off. Which, if I'm just gonna go off the name here, I'm presuming we're gonna go and have to save some woman from getting like a... from a place where you get your bikini wax or whatever. Or fighting off TK's thugs in the underground, that could also work. Jeez, that is a while away. Luckily, we unlocked a shortcut to there in either the previous episode or the one before that. I don't really remember. It's been like two weeks. So I got my trusty spiked bat in hand. Never leave home without it. Shut the door without picking up the plant for once. I'd like to think I'm getting better at this. Alright, let's get a move on. Because the shortcut is sadly not right outside the safe house, but it's not that far away. Just go right into the bathrooms over there. And then you can pretty much just warp straight to the other side of the mall. 1600 kills already. Oh jeez. I kind of wonder what the uh, the highest number of kills that anyone's ever gotten in this game is. Like if, if it's over 100,000 or something. Anyway, here we are. All the way at the other side of the mall. And then we should be... Oh, I could have also just went straight into the underground and then went from there, but this is probably a lot faster. Out of the way, please. Coming through, bloody zombies. Makes sense because they are bloody annoying and they're covered in blood, hence bloody. Oh, I don't think I've been to that maintenance room yet. Let's check out what we have in there. Something fancy, I hope. Something really, really good. What is that? That's a fire extinguisher. And this leads to... Oh, that's a little passageway that leads to the silver strip. Alright. And that is an elevator that will lead somewhere. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that path. It goes straight to one of the stores. Anyway, oh crap. Nope, my maintenance room. No zombies allowed. Okay, we have a computer, a guitar, an amplifier, and a flashlight. Uh, computer and flashlight was the money hacker, I think. That's not really a good combo weapon to fight zombies with. But I do believe the guitar and the amplifier make something. But what? The power guitar. Okay, let's give this thing a go as soon as we get outside. And let's see, computer case, flashlight. Now nah, I'll just stick with the spear. Alright, let's go get that woman. Out of the way, coming through. Poke you in the eye. Watch it. Should have worn glasses. Out of my way. Right in the gut. Ooh, knock three of them down with one poke. Excellent. Honestly, I think Frank would probably be better off just wielding this thing sideways. Like from side to side instead of just poking people with it. I mean, a spear probably has some degree of slicing power, I imagine. Anyway, right over there is where we need to go. Just gonna hold the, uh, the power guitar in. Until we don't really... Or at least until we need it. To protect the survivor and everything. Also, where did the mission go? It's no longer in the list. That can be good. Here. Wait, what the hell was at the end of that spear? Oh, it's like a, a jousting lance. Alright then. Boom! Okay, so basically the power guitar sends out this sound wave around Frank that pretty much blows the zombies' heads off. That is pretty nice. Or just knocks them on their asses. Wow, this thing is weak as hell. Takes three hits to kill him. Wow, this thing is pathetic. I mean, sure, it's good for clearing out an area around yourself, but you need to do it three times just to kill all the zombies. It's not really that good. Probably better combo weapons. Although it does seem to be stronger the closer they are. That's kind of counterproductive because you don't really want them to get any closer to you than they need to be. Out of the way. How did they even get in here? They can't open doors as far as I know. Sure, they still have opposable thumbs, most of them. But I don't think zombies know how to work doors. Oh shit. Oh yeah, she was under attack from... Uh, time your bullets will run out, then what shall you do? Oh crap. Luckily, I still have a shotgun. I don't remember where I picked this up, but damn is it good. Knock him right on his ass. Oh, you and your puny machine gun? Yeah, shotgun beats machine gun, bub. Uh, 
How did they not riddle her with bullets? This is not exactly good cover. No, I don't want this. Get rid of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's like a karate woman. All right, come on. Back to the safe house with you. I'm not sure I get stiff as keep close to the plenty zombies to fight. Is he going to fight them barehanded? That's pretty badass. Uh, let's see. Let's find her a weapon. Pallet, no. It's got to be... Ooh, a sledgehammer. That'll probably do. All right. Here you go. Okay, apparently you cannot give her items. That's good to know. I guess she just prefers fighting barehanded. Works for me. Now, best course of action would probably be just to go back to the shortcut, because there are motorcycles in the underground, but those are one person only. So, come on, woman. This way. Restroom. No, we need to get to the exit. How the hell did these... I'm pretty sure I cleared all of them out when I was here earlier. But smashing him with a sledgehammer is always a good time. Oh, he's dead. Just double-checking. Never hurts to double-check. Especially when it comes to flesh-eating undead people. Boo. Not enough limbs flying off. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Squish. Gotta love it. Alright, back outside. Up the escalator. Was it? Yeah, it was this. Hello, over here. Apparently she's more excited about fighting zombies than about getting to the safe house. So why does she need my help again? I mean, okay, I can understand her not being able to fight the guys shooting at her, but the zombies? I could probably just let her go right now and she can find her own way to the bloody safe house. But no, that's probably not how the game works, because the game wants you to hold every survivor's hand like they're a bloody five-year-old. Okay, come on. She doesn't really, she has like an Asian name, but she doesn't look Asian at all. Look, just looks like a white chick. Boom! Oh, that one wasn't entirely aimed well. And the here comes the groom mission is about to disappear. Not really a problem there. I wasn't really planning on doing that anyway. That is a psychopath fight, and I I don't think I've ever done that one. But I've heard it's one of the hardest in the game, so it's probably for the best that me it being my puny level 16 is not going to do that one. Yet. Anyway, come on. Coming through. Guess you better bust this thing out. It is, it is pretty decent for clearing a path when you have a survivor with you, I'll give it that. There are definitely far better combo weapons, though. Come on, Tomomi. Ooh, two heads. One stroke. It's called a stroke. I know it's a strum. Strum the guitar. I'm not a musician. I don't play any musical instruments. I have played Guitar Hero on more than one occasion, though. Not, not that big a fan. I usually uh, just kept to the drums because that's easy as hell. All right, come on! Ah, damn it! Get off me! Oh, jeez! Okay, that's new. Never had to. Oh, oh shit! This is bad. Well, that's a complete waste of time then. Completely forgot that the sound waves could also damage her. Shit. Well, guess now I have no choice but to kill her. Sorry, woman. Ah, damn it. Screw your crane stance. She, she's definitely a white chick. Damn it. Crap, I'm almost dead. Well, sorry, woman. But uh, that's what you get if you mess with Frank West. Especially if you're trying to kick his ass. And I will eat some sushi. It's appropriate, considering how we just killed a... A martial arts woman, I suppose. Alright, uh, anything else around here that we can do? Because there's no point in going back to the safe house now. Let's go check this place out, see if there's anything decent here. And I can combine this knife I picked up earlier with these boxing gloves. There we go, knife gloves. And let's see, we have a newspaper, some 2x4s. And some other crap that's probably not going to be very good. Spoiled hamburger, I am not going to eat that. Because that's going to make Frank sick. Ooh, this is a nice looking store here. What is that up atop the cabinet? Is that... 
dynamite. Who the hell keeps dynamite on top of a cabinet? Ooh, I'll take this. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, jump and slash. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Flashlight. Uh, Centurion bust. Well, I'll take the flashlight, I suppose. Get rid of that, it's about to break. Anyway, flashlight e plus gems. Back to the maintenance room over there. I'm gonna fashion me a new lightsaber. Yes, I'm gonna need the force with me for what I'm gonna do next. Here we go. And a flashlight. Boom, Sith Lord Frank is back in action. Alright, come through. Ah, out of the way. Scumbag zombies. Now, uh, we have this and we have that. And this one is awfully close by. So I guess we'll go and do that one. Everyone loves Slappy. Or everyone knows Slappy or... It was one of those two. See, is there at least something here that can help me get my health back up? That would be nice. Because 4 out of 7 health blocks, that's not really going to cut it. Especially because I'm not really that good at, at fighting the bosses. At all. Ah, bloody hell. Oh, nice suplex. At least I, it keeps my health block intact. Boom, a shotgun. Gotta love the shotgun. And this piece of crap. Damn you, piece of crap. You, you cost me a lot of experience points. And potentially money. I don't know, maybe she won a karate tournament that was going to give me the winnings or something for saving her. It, it could have been a possibility. I mean, the gamer kid gave me some of his winnings from his uh, video game tournament. Just die. There we go. Alright, booze. Nothing like getting your health back with booze. There we go, down an entire bottle. Ooh, that's a good healing item. Alright, where is the boss? Let's take some bottles to go. No need to pay for them anyway. The, uh, the store owner's probably dead. Or left. Alright. Ooh, that is examine. Alright, I'll examine that. Yeah, this looks like the zombies tore that mascot up good. Poor woman. Whoa, that, that is cr creepy as fuck. You... You're Frank West! And you are... Oh, you know me. I'm Slappy! Everyone knows Slappy! And everyone knows you! You're good at stuff! I saw it on TV! Listen, kid, you can't believe everything you see on TV. But I really, really need you to fix that toy! <sighs> Aren't you a little old to be playing with toys? Look, do you need something? Can I help you? Can I take you someplace safe? Oh, no! <laughs> We are not going anywhere, zombie magnet. You need to take care of this. You are going to help me fix my toy. She was so beautiful. Then she got broken. The zombies broke her. But Susie belongs with Slappy. I was her favorite, too. She's mine! You have to fix her now! But maybe you like it like this, so you can take pictures! You want zombies to break things! Well, let's see how you like it! Oh, fuck. Anyway... Cliffhanger! See you next time!